How is my baby doing today? How are you feeling? I'm better now. Much better. I think I'm strong enough to go home. You know, you give me a real scare back there in the forest when you passed out. I've lost count. How long have I been here in this hospital? Hmm, three days. But the first day was the worst. You were totally unconscious. Chuck. How is Chuck? Is he better too? He had a serious injury after the fight with Obey. His ribs. He was spitting blood. Yeah. Chuck. He's fine. Chuck is fine. Where is he? Take me to his room. Oh, no, no. It's not proper that you walk around now, okay? You still need some rest, okay? My love, I know when I'm strong. And I say I am strong. Please, take me to his hospital room. I just want to be sure that he's better too. Busy. if you must know, Chuck is not in this hospital. Why? How do you mean Chuck is not in this hospital? Which hospital is he? He was taken back to Enugu two days ago after first aid. He's in prison. You what? You took Chuck to prison? You took a sick man to prison instead of a hospital? Are you so wicked, Kujo? After everything he did for me? For heaven's sake, do you realize I'm alive today because of Chuck? Do you realize I owe him my life? Busy. Let's not get agitated here over a convict for God's sake. He was convicted by the law. I only implemented the orders of the court. That's what I did. Oh, spare me that, Kojo. I expect you to have the man who risked his life to save my life taken to a good hospital and not to health. Why would I write a letter to the Commissioner of Police to bring his gallantry to the notice of the Inspector General of Police and to the court for a state pardon or something? That man is not a criminal. Just manslaughter. He killed somebody in the fit of anger. And you, you sit here and call him a convict? Busy. Please. Please. Let's be more mature about matters here. Please, Busy. Maturity, my foot. I want to be discharged from here now. I intend to get Chuck a state pardon or a lighter sentence even if that's the last thing I do. Think you're going? Get in the doctors, of course. I must leave this place today. All because of the convict. Busy, all because of a convict. He deserves it, and even more. Chuck must be hurting by now. He's sitting in a prison cell with his heart and ribs. I mean, who even knows? He may have even developed an internal injury by now. And if that is the case, do you realize he could die? Do you? This, please. I'm going to say this one more time. For God's sake, we are engaged and will be married very soon. I beg you. Busy, I beg you. Do not let this talk of a guy come between us and cause problems. I beg you. What please. problems is he causing? What problems? That I want him to get better too. Is that a problem? That you're being too, too mean and callous and I complain. Is that the problem? Listen, Kujo. If anything happens to Chuck in that prison, if Chuck dies in that prison as a result of your abject neglect, I will never forgive you. I will never ever forgive you. How could you be so mean? Chuck saved my life. I mean, how could you just throw him in prison like that? Just Throw him in there! He saved my life! My Come dad, don't you touch me! I have warned you. I have warned you.
I swear to God, I had no idea. I'm sorry. I'm going to see to it that you're taken to a clean and a good hospital first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you, Inspector. Please, don't be so formal with me. Call me busy. That is what you used to call me in the bush. When I first began to like you, because you're a good man, and you have a good heart. Did you for once think I'd abandon you? Did you for once think I'll leave you now that you're down on your knees? I see I'm sick. Inside of me, I feel like a dead man already. Sometimes I can't even breathe. I will fight for you. I'll speak for you if nobody else will speak for you. The gallantry you showed me in the bush is not just the gallantry to me, but to the country. And the country should reward you for it. I did it for you first. Before the country. Does the bush urge tenderness? Does it make tough men soft? Why do you ask? I'm still wondering why I couldn't leave you. Why I didn't escape. See what it has earned me. A broken rib. Lack of medical care. And prison. Are you regretting that you helped me? It's not regret I feel now. What do you feel now? Now that you're here again. Yes. Happiness. I'm happy. I'm happy you're here and hearty. For some miraculous reason, I don't feel pain in my rib this moment that you're here. I'm your Florence Nightingale. I like you, Chalk. I do. A whole lot. Somebody and landed yourself with a sentence of manslaughter. It's a long story. I hate to be reminded. Maybe someday, someday you tell me. Someday when you're free. I believe you can get them to free me, don't you? Yes. I believe. Well, I don't. to listen to something and I can assure you you will love it. What is it? Trust me. <laughs> Here we go. That is what you used to call me. Call me busy. That is 
Now we know why Inspector Busy was making such a force over a convict who has been sent to where he rightfully belongs, prison. And what is the reason? The voice I just heard on tape are the voices of two people who want to have sex. Two people who desire each other. I want to move back to my own house. I want to move out of your house this night. Do I take that as an admittance of guilt? He said he likes me and that he was happy to see me hale and hurty. I told him I like him too. Two people who have suffered together end up becoming friends and liking each other. What is wrong in that? He said he didn't feel any pain in his room because you were with him. Now, that is not likeness. That is adoration. Adoration! He practically worships. Two of you did in that bush. Did you just say that to me? I said it! And I'll say it again and again and again! my dear. I also requested that he write a letter to the Inspector General of Police and to the Abuja High Court where Chuck was convicted, intimating them on his exemplary conduct to this country and also ask for a possible state pardon. I even wrote a detailed report on my ordeal and the good role he played to save my life by fighting Obey and his men. God, what amazes me is that of all the men in this world, 
it is a conflict. Busy, a conflict that is coming between you and I. Oh, so you'd rather he die? Of what use is his life? Why? Why do you want Chuck dead so much? Why? Is it not for mass slaughter that he was sentenced? I mean, a man who takes the life of another should not have any value attached to his own life. Why did you come to my house? I thought you said I was planning to sleep with Chuck, but if I didn't already. Busy. I am here because I still love you. And I want you to come back to your senses. You surprise me, Kujo. <laughs> you surprise me. I expect you to join hands with me and thank the one who saved my life. Show him gratitude, encouragement by asking for his release, not his death. He is distracting you for pain's sake. Distracting me? From what? From me! I mean, since you found out that I had him sent back to prison instead of the hospital, your attitude towards me changed. Meaning that you probably fell in love with him those three days you were in the bush. Or even made love to him. Get out of my house. Get out! You don't order me around, busy. I am your superior officer. This is not the police station. This is my house. You know, all your jealousy and ranting is even getting me more and more interested in chalk. There really must be something special about chalk. That scares the devil out of you. Yes. <laughs> Madam, I know you are still at home. I know you are not at work yet. Anyway, that's not the problem. Listen, I am coming towards your house and I'm not coming in. I want you to come out to the gate. You have a letter. No time for details. have been transferred. To where, sir? You are very stupid. Sorry, sir. How dare you ask me where you've been transferred to? Sorry, sir. Are you not an officer of the law? Are you not supposed to serve anywhere? Yes, sir. Anyway, since you want to know, you have been transferred out of Enugu City. You have been transferred to Uguenu Village Police Post. Okay. And you are to report there 800 a.m. tomorrow morning. Is that clear? Come away, it's like a floating river. Come away, it can go wherever. Come away, it will seek you, find you. Circumstances. I don't know how to tell you this. I've been transferred. Transferred? This transfer has to do with me, not so. Yes. 
It has to do with you. Kujo is jealous. He thinks I have feelings for you. That's why he wants to separate us. And he wants me to die. Dead and out of his way. When I told you I didn't believe you could get me a pardon, you didn't understand why I said it. It was for Kujo I said it. He was nothing but unfriendly and harsh to me the very day you were taken to the hospital. He said I should be given only aspirin for my rib pain. And he threw me in prison. I have a mind to resign from the force. Then you wouldn't be able to help me out in the slightest way. And could you will castrate me then? Where did they transfer you to? Uguewu village. No light. No water, plenty petty criminals and cutthroats. Your fiance did that to you? No, my ex fiance I'm calling it off. Do you know he had us taped the other day? He heard every single word we said to each other. He came to my house, slapped me after accusing me of sleeping with you. And now this. There is indeed a thing lying between love and hate. Poor me. They are taking away from me the only friend I have in the police force. No matter where they transfer me to, wherever I am, I will fight. To see you pardoned. To see you walk free. A free man. I promise. Maybe Kujo saw it earlier than we did. What? This attraction. Here. Let's prove him wrong. Let's not allow the attraction to grow more than this. Let's be friends. Do you? To a Debussy, Ada Oshun wrote to me, protesting a transfer to a remote village so soon after her deal in the bush. She also complained about victimization aimed at her by you, and she gave concrete facts. What have you to say? With due respect, sir, what Inspector DBC idea she considers victimization is simply my not being favorably disposed to her inordinate romance with a convict, Chuck Yesufo. I wish to respectfully bring to your notice also, sir that Inspector Adebisi Adiyashu happens to be my fiancé, sir. So. 
So all these things is about two lovers quarreling. That and many more, sir. ASP. Sir. Your love life should not be brought in as a factor in official decisions. Cancel that transfer with immediate effect. Yes, sir. And henceforth, look for other ways to settle your love disputes. Yes, sir. As for the convict, the matter is with the IG. He and the court has a final decision. Personally, I feel he deserves a state pardon. Yes, sir. if I've relocated to the village where you transferred me to. Well, sorry to disappoint you. I have not relocated yet. I definitely will not. I can see you're now a hero. Mm -hmm. And I a zero, right? You're not shining while I am dealing. That's all. Well, I hope you're enjoying your little victories. I'm just coming from the office of the police commissioner. Oh, that means you already know I will not be going on transfer. <laughs> Thank God the commissioner of police is made of a different stuff from you. He does not wish Chuck death, but life and reward. So this whole thing is still about Chuck the conflict, isn't it? You know what, Busy? It surprises me that you could easily sacrifice a three-year-old relationship for a three-day tumble in the boat. Let me even answer you just this once, Mr. Kujo. You've been going on and on about how Chuck and I must have made love in the bush. Well, you're wrong. Totally wrong. Because nothing of that sort happened. Anyway, it won't even make any difference now. Because you and I have virtually nothing to talk about. So I'd be glad if you get off my chair, go to the door and go back to your own house while I make myself comfortable. I sent you on transfer. And rather than come to beg me, you step over me and go to the police commissioner. Not so. You want to show me that you're connected in high places, please. No problems. Enjoy your victory. It baffles me. The kind of ego problem you have baffles me. What do you want? You want somebody to come and bow and beg you? You want to subdue me, right? Is that the problem? Well, Mr. Charles Kujo, you are going to have to search elsewhere because IBC, I am not ready to bow to vain and conceited men like you. No, 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 don't bow to me. Don't. Don't bow to me. Don't even respect me, BC. Don't! Like I said, go ahead and enjoy your new relationship with Chuck, the convict. Chuck and I have nothing together. We're not dating. But now that you've mentioned it, hmm, it wouldn't be a bad idea, you know. Because he's good looking, he's handsome, kind, loving. Murderer. Manslaughter is not murder. And it doesn't have an ego problem like you. So you have even learned to yell and raise your voice at me. You see? You see, BC, I told you. I told you that those three days you spent in the bush with that convict has done you no good. BC would never, ever yell or raise her voice at me before. But like I said, no problem. Go ahead and enjoy your relationship with your lover, the killer. I am going. I am going. And I guess it's over between us. Oh, please go. You're 
jealousy is making me sick, coupled with your ill wishes. My doll, it's important you keep it closed. one who first got jealous, taped our conversation, and jumped to a conclusion that we were dating. Now, after everything that has happened, I don't think it would be a bad idea. Right? What would be a bad idea? Us dating? You make it sound formal. I prefer to let things flow. Me? I've dated you in my mind ever since I found myself protecting and saving your life. And not running away and escaping as I should have done. I lost feelings for you in my heart. Feelings I never intended letting out. Especially when I found out you had a fiance. <sighs> ah, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Look at me, I've forgotten myself. What I'm talking about love and dating. I'm going back to jail. Now that I'm well, they'll definitely don't be back in that hellhole. What are you thinking? You know, could you and I were really never meant to be together? We met three years ago, while I was on transfer to this city. He was all too bossy and authoritative. Everything had to be done his way or there would be a quarrel. And he never ever knew where to draw the line between police work where he was my boss and our relationship. Chuck? Yes. What did you do before your mother case? I owned a club. I 
also ran a casino upstairs of the club. But the manager ripped me off large sums of money. One day I got angry and sacked him. He later came to my office, yelling, threatening me. I tried to shove him out. Then he attacked me. In a fit of temper, I hit him with a flower verse on my office table. And that was it. He passed out. We tried rushing him to the hospital. But on our way he died. That means it was an accident. Manslaughter, not murder. Do you know what they say? Self-defense isn't murder. I'm not a murderer. Do you know? Kujo calls you a murderer just to get on my nerves. I can't blame him for that. He didn't want to lose you. Hmm. Did he ever have me? Because if I was in love with him, then why did I fall for you so, so easily? You never told me you were in love with me. You never told me to. Kiss me. Come here. five days ago so I could reach you. I mean, who else has your number? I don't know. You know, the nurses, the doctors, oh. warders of the prison. You know, you never can tell. Anonymous caller, I wonder who it is. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Why don't you come to the window for better reception? Hello? 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 Yes, to the window. Hello? No, 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 no. 
to see you crush me. At least I forget. Maybe this would dampen the joy you feel inside and give you something to think about. Chuck did not die. You did not succeed. The bullet went through his left shoulder, not his heart as you aimed. You failed. Mr. Kujo, I'll see you very, very soon. Ask me, Kujo. I'll have you know that the police have thought the bullet that was fired at Chuck Yusuf. And it was fired from a police service pistol. You have nothing to say? I have nothing to say, sir. I mean, anybody can be in custody of a police pistol. Mm -hmm. It's just shocking and very unfortunate that, that he was shot at. But we thank God that he was not killed. We thank God for that, sir. Where were you between the hours of 9 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. on the night of Friday? Sir, I was in my house. I got home early and tired and went straight to bed, sir. Interesting. Yes, sir. Unknown to you, the police have been talking to the policeman on duty at the gate. From his statement, you drove out by 9 p.m. and came back 11 p.m. on Friday. Dressed in Mufti. Did you forget? Ah, uh, yes, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I just remembered, sir. Um, I. Yes, I actually drove out to get some drugs, sir. Good. Give me the name and address of the chemist or pharmacy where you bought the drug. We'll send somebody there immediately. Quite frankly, sir, uh, I didn't take um, I didn't take any particular notice of the details, sir. Could you? Sir. It takes a one-hour drive from your house to the hospital where Chuck is being treated. So, if you left home by 9 p.m., you will be at the hospital by 10 p.m. Mr. Chuck was shot at exactly 10, 15 p.m. It took you 15 minutes to settle into position, make the call, and take a shot at him. 
are you assuming, sir, that that I am guilty just like that? Did you ever tell your Excellency, busy, that you wanted Chuck dead? Also, beat Aremo, the chief order in his evidence, said you asked him for Chuck's phone number on Thursday evening. He promptly gave it to you, suspecting nothing. You see? Kujo, you did not cover your tracks well at all, or did you? Two million naira, sir. No, no. Five million naira. And I'll transfer it right into your account before the close of business today. Please, help me. You must be a fool, Kujo! If you think you can bribe me, why didn't you just get yourself another woman and leave PC and her choice alone? There are many pretty women out there in the city to pick from. Why didn't you? No, please, sir. Sir, you are the only one that can help me. Please take this five million dollars. It's my entire life savings. I Good. don't want to go to jail, sir. Please help me, sir. Please. Good. Please, sir. I will do just that. Yeah. Come to my office immediately with two of your men. Okay. I'm sorry, ASP Charles Kujo. The police is a disciplined force and cannot have a few rotten eggs spoil the entire crate. mercy on me and set me free, so do I wish him set free as well. I won't press charges against him. And if the state should press charges against him, I won't appear in court. This is what I've come to tell you, sir. Inspector Brissi. Sir. Are you a party to this? That an offender should not be punished? Sir, that's Chuck's wish. He insists and says that's the only way he'll be happy. Yes, sir. I can't be happy a free man while another man goes to jail for my sake. Besides, sir, I think he's been punished enough. He's been dismissed from the police force. That's enough punishment, sir. And you think both of you will be safe? If Kujo walks around the free man with the bitterness against the two of you in his heart, I think so. Actually, sir, I intend to resign from the police force and join Chuck in Abuja. We will be safe there. And we hope that Kujo finds another woman and forgets about us. We hope. You intend to resign? 
Yes, sir. Oh. We're missing the force. Thank you very much, sir. But not to worry. I'll always be a policewoman in my heart. I know. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And I'll always be <laughs> a protector of the policewoman. I know. <laughs> like that. <laughs> So great like the rising sun, it's fresh and warm in the hearts of the ones who find true love. Love is forgiveness for ones who may have wronged you.